so good evening students so today we will discuss how moisture content of seed is very very important so now we will see moisture content so moisture content is again important attribute which is going to influence the quality and stability of the seed it is the estimation in seed quality assessment is very very vital and it may be expressed either uh, wet basis or dry basis so in seed testing always expressed on the wet basis and can be determined either by uh, using moisture meter or hot air oven meter so these are the two methods that is called moisture meter and hot air meters are generally used for the seed moisture content or measuring the seed moisture content so our main goal is to determine the moisture content of seed by methods suitable for the routine use so you have to adopt uh, those methods which are or which can be performed on the regular basis so definition so what is the moisture content so moisture content of sample is the loss in the weight when it is dried in accordance with ISTA rules ISTA means international seed testing association it is expressed as percentage of the weight of the original sample so there are certain principles like the methods uh, prescribed are designed to reduce oxidation decomposition and loss of other volatile substances ensuring the removal of as much moisture as possible because you know ki when moisture is more so there may be chances of getting disease so that's why it should be uh, there is certain range i will come to the next slide so seed aging and loss of seed germination so seed aging cannot be stopped but can be minimized by a proper seed storage condition so two important environmental factors influencing are relative humidity governed seed moisture tem moisture and temperature so this is this is the very important rule that is called harrington's rule so this is very important for exam even examination point of view so for every decrease of 1% seed moisture the life of seed is double okay so again i am repeating so if you decrease the 1% seed moisture moisture the seed life is double just double and for every decrease of 5 degree centigrade in the storage temperature the life of seed is again double so this is the so rule one holds good when the seed moisture content is between 14 and 5% so that's why i am telling ki your seed moisture should be less than 14% then only you can store store the seed for the longer period of time so there are certain methods by which you can determine the moisture content that is called like moisture meter and air oven meters just you are telling in first slide so these are the important methods so in case of first method that is called moisture meter estimation is quick and convenient estimation is approximate and estimation is generally based on the electric conductivity and meters to be calibrated for each species and only to be used if results are comparable with the oven meters and in oven meter a standard reference meter is required estimation is precise seed moisture is removed by the drying under the specified temperature for a specific duration and again this is the approved by the international seed testing association so weight of the sam submitted samples so i was telling you have to submit the uh, weight so that should be 100 g for the species that have to be ground you have to grind the sample and 50 g for the other species and again the sample sample should be uh, not more than 700 g of polythene so these are the equipments like a moisture meter moisture container desiccator so you can see uh, one by one. like these are the moisture meter so just uh, by using moisture meter you can uh, measure the uh, based on the conductivity you can measure the moisture of the seed then you have constant temperature open so you, you can just weigh the initial weight and again after drying final weight again this is the grinding means so you can uh, go for the there are certain procedures are there based on that you can uh, grind the seed evenly at the and it is or measuring the seed moisture content so our main are then desiccator so desiccator you can see the edge of cover and the main body should be good ground glass joints and use good quality grease then analytical balance again balance is requi required for the measuring the seed
in then weighing so weighing machine again like it shall be gram in three decimal place or in four significant figures so you can weigh the samples accurately then this is the working sample size you can uh, uh, one can determine by following the uh, these procedures and then grinding so already told you grind the large sheet unless difficult due to the high moisture content so you have to uh, grind the seed species given in the IST means always you have to follow the IST rules regulations so these are the then desiccator so desiccating also and uh, constant temperature oven method so low constant temperature oven method and high constant temperature methods both methods are used so your temperature should be like this and again relative humidity of the lab should be around 70 percent so these are the high con constant temperature oven methods so temperature should be 132 133 centigrade then these are the testing procedures then these are the calculations so you can measure the percentage of the moisture content by using this formula that is equal to m2 minus m3 divided by m2 minus m1 into 100 m1 is the weight in the gram of container and its cover m2 is weight in gram of the container its cover and its content before drying and m3 is the weight in the gram of container its cover and its content after drying so m2 minus m3 that is equal to moisture loss and m2 minus m1 is equal to the fresh weight of the sample so this is the calculation you can determine the moisture content of the seed in percentage this is again pre drying methods so this is the soybean seed with 10 percent moisture paddy seed with 13 percent moisture so these are the sort like in gms 15 25 percent and you have to dry for the two to five hours at 65 to 75 degrees centigrade so these are the so in the if the seed material is pre-dried so in that case you have to calculate the percentage like s1 plus s2 minus s1 into s2 divided by 100 so s1 is the moisture lost in the first stage and s2 is the moisture lost in second stage so these are the equipments like a moisture meter moisture container desiccator so you can see uh, one by one That is called reporting results. So reporting results. So again, you have to follow the standard uh, uh, certificate. So moisture test has done for the pelleted seeds, and the seeds of submitted moisture sample were pelleted, and moisture content reported to is average of seed and pelleting materials. So you have to adopt uh, those methods which are or which can be performed on the regular basis. So definition. So what is the moisture content? So moisture content of sample is the loss in the weight when it is dried in accordance with ISTA rules. ISTA means International Seed Testing Association. It is expected in percentage. This is again. Then these are the precautions. The submitted sample be accepted for moisture determination only if it is an intact moisture proof container and determination be started soon after the receipt. Exposure of the sample to lab atmosphere be reduced to the absolute minimum. If grinding not required, not more than two minutes, unless from the uh, time and sample is removed from the container. So thank you.